up y'all we're getting ready to cook i probably won't show you guys step by step but these are the seasonings that i'm using plus my olive oil and we're getting ready to cut up these potatoes of course we're gonna wash them and scrub them first and then i'll get back to you once i get them in the pan all right the potatoes are all chopped up i cut them in quarters season them added some diced onions to give it a little bit more flavor and next up we'll be doing the asparagus my protein will be this chickenless mandarin orange marcells i know I probably should have got jasmine rice to eat with this, but I was craving potatoes. So it's going to be potatoes, okay? You eat what you eat, I eat what I eat. And that's what it is. They look like little chicken nuggets, but they're good, I promise. I've had them before. Um, so anyway, they're just in the pan cooking, a little olive oil. And yeah, I'll come back with the finished product. Our chickenless chicken is done. As you can see, it has a nice crisp to it which is good um, once you put the sauce in it kind of softens up so she is done all right you guys here is the final product my chicken is in the middle asparagus and potatoes are done so I'm going to eat my meal because I'm starving hope you guys enjoyed this little cook with me What's up, y'all? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We are going for our afternoon walk at the local park. Four laps around is a mile. Of course, I'm not gonna take you for the entire mile, but we'll do a little something, something. Just a little motivation for you guys to get up, get out, and get moving. Try not to give away too much of where I live, but it's a nice local park. You get some cardio in. They even have little exercise machines. All right, you guys. So at least twice a year, I go through a 30 day challenge. This is my first challenge of the year and I'm doing 30 minutes for 30 days of some type of cardio. Today was a walk. There you have it. Proof is in the pudding. Sunday. I hope I don't get copyrighted from the music in the background, but we're going to see John Wick today. So stay tuned for my review.
what's up y'all excuse the AC noise it is warm today but I just got out of the John Wick chapter 4 movie it was good action-packed every scene intense from beginning to end um, if you haven't seen it I suggest you go see it and uh, I paid for the movie with my own money so no free tickets here just so you know um, yeah I don't want to spoil it like any other movie that I try to do a review on um, yeah go see sweet green I'm gonna show you what I got and we're gonna take it from there we're gonna take our first bite together um, yeah so I picked up a spindrift a sparkling water this one is out oh, grapefruit right, so I got the shroomami but I got it without I don't like mushrooms so I got it without the mushrooms and without the beets because I don't like beets so I substituted for chickpeas and avocado uh -oh. uh uh scratch that I lied I didn't get chickpeas <laughs> I got sweet potatoes I got sweet potatoes and avocado and then the sourdough is vegan I had it mixed. I usually get my dressing to the side when I bring it home, but I want it mixed today for whatever reason. But this is what it looks like. Let me pan down. So that is what it looks like. this is not sponsored this is my own hard-earned money um yeah it's a lazy day needed to go to the market but did not want to go so i chose to go to sweet grades after i went to the movie so here we go first bite yep it's still hitting mm-hmm Mm. All right, one more bite. Then I gotta cut the cameras. The cameras. Dead ass. If you have a sweet green near you, I highly suggest you try them out. Food's really good, really fresh. It's not just for vegetarians and vegan. They have meat there, so there are meat options. I don't know how the meat option tastes because obviously I don't eat meat, but this bowl is totally vegan friendly. So yeah, if you have a sweet greens near you, check it out. I noticed a lot of... Um, a lot of the influencers have been going to a new spot called Kava. Obviously, I live in the LA area. We have them here. I have not tried Kava. I've looked at their menu. Kind of reminds me of Sweet Greens, but I'm not going to hold you. I will eventually try them out. So when I do, 
best believe I will share with you guys. All right, I'm gonna finish my meal off camera and I'll